Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's Warrior Babe here. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Welcome to all of my returning subscribers. And if you're new here, what's up? Welcome to the family. Uh, today I have a bag review slash what's in my bag for y'all. I noticed that y'all really like the other ones I've been doing, so I'm like, why not? So the bag that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Bayes Convertible Mini Weekender. That was actually a lot to say. Um, but this bag is supposed to be like a travel bag that like has all your things in one so you don't have to like carry more multiple bags whenever you're traveling so I wanted to go ahead and try it and see what it exactly it's given so if you'd like to learn more about this weekender bag continue watching the bag actually comes in three colors I think it was like the um, the khaki the black and then the gray I decided to go ahead and do the gray I already took it out of its original pack it came in like a, a male bag that said like base on it but I still have it in this pack and I didn't want to take this off because I realized that this actually said something it says get lost find yourself repeat okay tagline um I guess their packaging always has something um, written on it that represents them and I like it it's cute okay you know immediately the bag looks really good like right okay also the gray color actually i'm not mad at this it looks really really nice like it's so vibrant and the material is so thick like wow is this like supposed to be i don't know if it's waterproof or anything but it just it seems so thick and sturdy that's really good so it does have this bottom part that's a bit more um sturdy um, though I feel like this is definitely more hard. It's harder than the rest of the bag But I think this is supposed to be like a shoe compartment or like yeah I think it's supposed to be a shoe compartment um, for your traveling so wow very nicely done and you can actually I think the reason why it's a convertible is because you can like take out the bottom part so let's see You literally just slide it off like the bottom part is gone y'all this is cute this is nice okay come on presentation I like it already alrighty um, let's get inside the bag okay so now I'm inside the bag this is how big it is honestly y'all this is pretty big for like a mini like I'm really just wondering how big the original is. That means like you wouldn't need like any extra bag. You'd be able to pack like multiple shoes in that one. I might have to also try that one out, but I don't really like like bags that are too big just because um, I don't like carrying too big bags. Um, so we'll see. I feel like if I'm satisfied with the mini one, there's no need to get the bigger one, you know? Okay. So, first you can see the, um, I guess the strap that you can use to wear it the long way if you decide to not wear it um, with the two-handle strap. So, that's always a plus. One thing I love about the bag already is like I see so many compartments in here. So, there's just enough room for me to divide my stuff up and feel like, you know, they all have their own space and they all have their own room. It's kind of like organization. I like my things to be organized. So, it's like I'm glad that there are these compartments in here. So, the first compartment is the zipper part. This bag is heavy, y'all, so I'm going to do my best to try and stand and show y'all um, what exactly is inside. I can't sit down and lift it up with my arm. It's just, it's a lot. So, the first compartment we see here is this zipper part. Nice, nice, enough room. And then there's these, like, small pockets in here. They're not that big, but, like, you can probably put in, like, lip gloss or, like, some little stuff that you know can fit in here. Um, okay, moving on to the other side, we have three distinct compartments on this side. There's the first one that has its own pockets. And then there's a latch thing over here that you can use to um, secure that part. And then there's the second part. This part doesn't have its pockets, but again, you have this latch to like close everything up. And then of course the third part, which is the biggest part. Honestly, y'all, this has a lot of room, like wow. This bag that's really heavy like this, why be able to carry it like this? You know, I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking. Um, but yeah, I really love the number of compartments that are in there. And it also has one on the outside as well. You know, you can put like important stuff in there like your, um, I don't know, your wallet, stuff that you want to get, uh, get to pretty quickly. 
It also has this part that you do attach to like your carry-on bag as like a, what's it called, a personal item. Or you can also attach it to your regular suitcase if you end up using this as a carry-on, you know? Um, but it has that space for you to do that. Honestly, it's already looking good so far. And then this bottom section, it actually has like its own zipper and like mesh to cover it. I think it's it's pretty spacious. It's pretty spacious. Um, since this is the mini, I wonder how big the um, original size is because this is actually pretty nice. Um, okay, and this is how low the bag goes. Honestly, I'll probably carry it this way because it just gives me more support if it is kind of heavy um, as opposed to trying to carry it this way all on my shoulder. I don't know. This is just. This is given, uh uh, my, my shoulder is gonna be hurting. Um, so I will most likely wear it this way. Um, I feel like it's a nice little length. I, I, yeah, I can make it longer. So yeah, adjust that however much you want. Um, if you do end up wearing it that way. But first impression, I really like the bag. I like uh, the material. I like how sturdy it is. I like the compartments that it has in here. And I just think it is so far a good travel um, bag. Now I just have to test out that theory. Um, so for the second part of this video, I am going to be doing a what's in my bag. Like I am traveling uh, for a weekend trip. I'm going somewhere that I'm only going to be there for like maybe three days. Nothing too much. And I'm going to see how that fits into here. The main things that I'm paying attention for this what's in my bag is whether or not everything fits like I want it to fit like is there enough space for me to really organize all of the things that I am carrying and number two will this bag be too uncomfortable because of how much stuff I have in it or would it just be like not that bad to carry especially since I have the um the longer strap so those are the main things I'm going to be focusing on So for some reason, my microphone stopped working. So everything I recorded after um, the last part y'all just saw literally did not have any sound. So anyways, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for the rest of the video. So first I'm gonna be working with the bottom section. I feel like this would be a good section to like put in shoes. Um, however, I would suggest flats and sandals. Like you don't wanna put in heels or don't put anything too bulky in there. Um, next I'm gonna put some clothes in. You can use like sheen baggies for like organization and just to like separate your clothes. So I typically use the sheen baggies for like multiple item where I want to put um, um, all together. So first I'm just going to put in some dresses. I'm able to fit in three dresses, a pair of pants and a crop top, a nightwear and then the pair of swimsuits is in the sheen bag because again multiple pieces of items for um, just one outfit. So I decided they all stay together course some underwear in the sheen baggies and of course my bonnet this compartment is already pretty full but it's not overflowing as you can see and I feel like I can probably get away with adding one or two more items but nothing too bad because again we don't want the bottom to be like overflowing or like too packed okay now I can move on to the rest of the bag my main focus was making sure that the majority of my items were already in smaller bags that I can conveniently just put in the bigger bag. I don't know, it just makes sense to me. The other items that I couldn't fit in smaller bags will then be like put in the compartment, which is why I really insisted on, on them having like enough compartments for these items just so I can like keep them um, separate and, you know, organized. Um, so some of these items that I had were my makeup palettes, um, jewelry that I have in small boxes, my makeup wipes, um, fans, perfume, chargers, selfie stick, headphones, cameras, and like any singular item that I just um, wasn't able to like fit in the other bags that I have. So once I'm done with the different compartments, I can then just start arranging um, the smaller bags that I have in the big compartment of the weekender bag. And I feel like this just helps me optimize the space since like everything is already in a medium or small bag. Once I put them in there, they should like have their own um, corner and like just fit nicely. Um, some of these are my actual makeup bag which has like the bulk of my makeup I also have this bag that contains like my hair stuff like my edge control my spray like anything that I would need like for the next day or like during the weekend for my hair um, you know y'all don't know the likes 
and then this bag I have like my makeup brushes and you can see it at the bottom but I also have like my skincare stuff in there like again I have these big items um, in these smaller bags so whenever I'm like if I need to use them or anything I know where everything is and like they're not just all over the place if that makes sense okay then I have this bag that has like my sunglasses um, I have another bag with more of my jewelry in there and of course I have to always travel with my speaker because you need that I'm pretty impressed with how much stuff I was able to fit in here like and I feel like I still have more room for like some stuff but again you have to be careful to not like overstuff the bag um, but I think it holds enough things like pretty nicely okay honestly love the bag and to answer my main concerns um, that I talked about earlier number one I am satisfied with the space and the multiple compartments I think it definitely gives me room to like be organized and like have my stuff in different places that whenever I go look for them I can just you know go where I know it's at that makes sense um, and then number two even though I have uh, I feel like I have a nice number of outfits in here I feel like the bag is pretty packed um, even though I think it's packed and I have enough stuff in here, I don't think it's too heavy, um, especially if I wear it with the longer strap. And I think that was what I was thinking about. Um, would it be comfortable for me to carry um, if I do utilize the space that it has? And honestly, I don't think it's too bad. I would definitely recommend this bag. So check out the description box for the link if you're interested. I did get the mini um, and they have like a bigger size if that's something that you want to look into. But let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.